this section, I'd like you to look at how energy changes while a substance undergoes a phase change. So with the first slide, I just want you to watch as I go through the explanation. And then at the end of the video, we'll draw the same diagram, but we'll do it together. So in heat transfer, it always occurs whenever there's a phase change. So you may remember that you have solids, liquids, and gases. We're going to start in the solid phase. So again, just listen to this part, and we'll draw this diagram together at the end of this video. Notice on this diagram that heat energy increases to the right. You might remember another term for heat energy is enthalpy. Temperature is increasing on your vertical axis. So let's suppose this solid is ice, so water ice. Now what temperature does water freeze at? And let's use degrees Celsius. And you probably said zero degrees. So I'm going to label this, and this is just in line with that, end of that line, zero degrees Celsius. When water melts, so when ice melts, so we're going to the right on this diagram, it's melting. And notice what's different is that the temperature is staying constant, but the enthalpy is increasing. So if I look at the beginning of the melting process, say you take an ice cube out of the refrigerator, it's at zero degrees, all right, so I'm looking right there, and you set it on a dish, and you watch it melt, one of those exciting experiments, it will stay at zero degrees until it gains enough energy. Notice how the energy has increased? The energy has increased from this beginning part to the end part. And now you'll have all liquid water, and that liquid water will be at zero degrees. So in the melting section, you have a solid changing to a liquid. And the energy is increasing. As we continue increasing the heat energy, now we're in the liquid phase. So you have molecules or atoms that are free to move, but they have a definite volume. So I'm just coloring in a few of them. Everything's a liquid. The energy is increasing. We'll get just a color to use. And we're here. That'll work. So here, we've increased the enthalpy again. But notice we've also increased the temperature. So the temperature has gone up to here. Now when water boils, what temperature does it boil at? So in the Celsius scale, it's 100 degrees Celsius at one atmosphere of pressure. And now your water can start changing to a gas. And that's when it's vaporizing. So now I'm looking at this part of the graph. At vaporization, your liquid water changes to the gaseous state. Notice your change in enthalpy increases. Our enthalpy increases to here. The temperature is remaining the same. Now I know my diagram's not perfect, but this is all 100 degrees Celsius. And that's your vaporization. Then, as that gas, it's all changed to a gas, it's at 100 degrees, now it can get even hotter. And so you can get steam hotter and hotter and hotter. And I'll show you a demo in class where you can make steam so hot it can burn paper. So now you just have the gaseous phase. Notice that your temperature keeps increasing. And it can keep going up to very high temperatures. 
if we cool things down, remember when you change from a gas to a liquid, that's condensation. And just make this a little bit thinner for us. So that's condensation. And then we can cool all that gas. It's all going to happen at 100 degrees. Cools to the liquid form. It's all liquid. It can get down to zero, and then it will begin to freeze. At its freezing point, oops, the wrong one on. So when it freezes, you're changing from a liquid to a solid. Once it reaches zero degrees, now you're just in the solid phase. Okay. So I'm going to draw this diagram on the next slide, and that's when I think you should draw it with me. So let's uh, put this away and go to the next slide, and let's see how you do. So we're going to go phase change of water. have a title on a diagram or graph. Remember what's on the horizontal? So we can call it heat energy. What's the other term we could use? Enthalpy. So if you just want to sound smart, you can use the term enthalpy. Increases to the right. What's on the vertical? science we tend to use degrees Celsius. Put that in parentheses. Now when I draw this, leave enough room that you can make annotations or notes. I'm going to have it at an angle. Then you want to be horizontal. Leave enough room so you can write. And you know we all have different size handwriting so make your best guess. We should have two horizontal parts and three parts that are up at angles. So your first part is when it's at a solid. The next slant is a liquid. And your last one is a gas. Remember along the first horizontal line, so I'm sketching here, that's zero degrees. When we go from a solid to a liquid, and I'm just going to write S for solid, changing to a liquid, what's that term? And that's called melting. Just kind of highlight it so it kind of sits out by itself. And all your ice say melts to liquid water. It's still at zero degrees, it doesn't change temperature. Once you get it to the liquid phase, now you can increase the temperature by adding heat. Once it's at 100 degrees, so this next horizontal line is 100. Now we're going from a liquid to a gas. Remember the term? That's called vaporization. And it happens at 100 degrees. Once all your liquid has changed to a gas, now it can get hotter. There's really no limit on that side. Let's take our gas and change it back to a liquid. What's that term? Condensation. Oops, I like I get S's so much. Ooh, just erased. Let me get that back in there. There you go. 
once your gas is at a liquid, now you can cool it down. And now we can take our liquid and freeze it into the solid phase. It's going to happen at zero degrees Celsius. You have to take away the energy. So think about putting something in the freezer. And you know this term. That's just freezing. So those are your notes and phase changes.